Hey y'all, Dylan here. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up an automatic workflow to back up all of your NAN AI agents and all of your workflows daily so you never lose all of your workflows. As someone who's run a high tech studio for over a decade, there's nothing more painful than losing your entire repo of all of the work that you've done in the past and then trying to recreate it. So this system, I'm going to show you right now, this workflow is a simple step-by-step -step process on how you can automatically back up all of your workflows and AI agents and even organize them into folders inside of your repo to make sure that you never lose any of your workflows from N8N. Okay, so let's step into it, shall we? So right here is a workflow. I'm going to make this available for you. Uh, you'll be able to download this at the bottom, um, but here's what we need to do. All you need to do is you need to set up one, your N8N API key, two, your GitHub's repo and your fine grain token. And then three, we just turn this thing on. So once you download this inside of here, we're going to take the next step. The next step is we're going to go inside of, and we're going to open up N8N. And on this main page here, you're going to want to go down here to the bottom. We see these three dots and you click settings. Now inside of here, we can click to in API key. And what I'm going to go ahead and do just to show you that this works completely. I'm going to delete this key forever. We're going to create a new API key and let's just call it what we want. N810 example API key. You want to turn this on to no expiration and then you're going to click save and you're going to want to copy this API key. I'm going to be deleting this API key afterwards so you don't have access to it, but just to show you how this works, copy this API key. So now we have it. And then you're going to go over here to NAN this workflow right here. And we're going to go into this NAN workflow. We're going to Double click on this. We're going to go ahead inside of here, add new credentials. I'm going to paste in my API key. And then we're going to want to put in our base URL and then slash API V1. So for me, it's this, it's at the beginning of the section over here where it says on render, which is the name of what we have here. We're going to copy that. And just to make it easy for you, I'm going to go here and slash in API slash V1, just like that. And that's how you can grab that. I'm going to paste this in here. So you can just see what that would look like. It's just the base of what it is dot com and then slash API V1. Zoom out here. And then I'm going to title this in terms of the, just so I know what it is, example API key. Click save. Now you have that connected. And now we can see it's been here as the credentials have been set. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go over to GitHub. Uh, you can create a free account uh, to be able to do this. And once you have that free account created, you're going to need to create a repo. So I'm going to click new on the top left hand side of here. And we're going to give this uh, a name. So let's so go NAN dash workflow dash backups. And so I'm going to copy that so I have that. But you can see right here is that is the name that I'm going to currently give it. Save that off to the side. And it says, do you want this to be public or private? We're going to want to set this to private unless you want everybody to see your repos. And then we click create repository. So now that it's been created, we have the repository created. We need to create our key for this so that we can be able to access the GitHub right here by accessing this. So we need to create what's called a fine grain key. And the way that we do that is I'm going to click back here in these settings. We're going to go to the top right hand side over here. This little character and we're going to click on this and then we're going to go down here to settings we're going to click on settings and then what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the bottom and we can see where this says developer settings we're going to click on developer settings and then we're going to click on personal access token and we're going to use this new one called fine grain token access this allows us to be able to set specific settings so that this key doesn't allow us to give access to everything Click this, and then we're going to click generate new token here. Click generate new token. We're going to give this one a name. So I'm going to call this a N810 example fine grain access. Great. And then we're going to set this down to no expiration. So you can see what this would look like. And then inside of here, what we're going to want to do is set some of these settings. And so we can do all repos or we can do select the ones that we want to have. So let's just say we only want to give it access to the one we just created. So we click only this one. We're going to go down here and we can put in an eighth in 
There we go, we have NAN workflow backups. Select that. And then we're gonna go down here to permission settings. So we're gonna click this Lipo permission settings and we're gonna go down to where it says content and you can see this content section right here. And we're gonna go access and we're gonna say read and write access. And then we're gonna scroll down here to workflows. Click here and we're gonna put read and write access. That's what we need to do there. Now, we, all we need to do is go down here and click generate token. It has no expiration date. And then we're going to copy this. And then we're going to go back over to the N8N example over here. And we can click on this, any of these GitHub nodes here. And we're going to go down, click this, create new credentials. And then we're going to put in the access token, just like that. And then you're going to want to put in your name. You can see where your name is. I'll just show you where my name is. If I go here at the top. I can see that my name is Monster Dylan, so I'll grab that. We're gonna go back inside of here. We're gonna paste that in. And we're gonna, I'm just gonna give this one a name just so I, I know which one it is. And we're gonna call this one Example Backups. And we're gonna click Save. Okay. We're gonna wanna make sure that this is now set for also these two other GitHubs that we can see right here. Click on this. Switch this one out to the Example Backup. Click on this guy. Switch this one out to example backup now that we have that. And then the, the last thing we need to do is we're going to go into these global settings. Inside of these global settings, we're going to want to put in the GitHub name, the repo you just created, and that's it. So inside of here, my name is, let's see, I was saved, Monster Dylan. And then we're going to want to put in the name of the repo that you had. And so the repo that I just created was called N810 Workflow Backups. That looks good. We're going to close this out. We're going to click save. And that is about it. So all we need to do now is I'll show you hit test workflow. And by the way, one of the things that you can do in order to organize all the files is if you hit this add tag function here, we can put this somewhere if we want to, and we can give it another tag. So in here, let's just call, let's call this one the, the backup tag. And so I'm just naming this workflow backup. And so you can do this with all the other ones. You can see I have AI agent, client builds, database, error handling. And so this allows me to organize all of my different workflows inside of folders inside of this backup. So now this has been tagged. We hit test workflow. And you can see right now this is going through and this is automatically backing up here. All of the different workflows I have into GitHub as we speak. And there we go. Uh, all these ones have been backed up right here. And you can see that this is set on a scheduled trigger here. You can have it set for whatever time you like. This is going every day at 7 a.m. You can have it set to midnight or whatever time you want to change to. And now if we just go ahead and check the repo, go inside of here, go back to the home. And if we go into the repo section over here where it says this, this little search bar, I'm going to hit enter. And we can jump to this repo that we just created. And we can see inside of here, we have these workflows. If I double click on this, you can see all of these repos have already been backed up. And the ones that have been tagged inside of your N8N build, as we can see from over here with this backup section, they've all been backed up and nicely organized for us inside of here. And so if we click on this one, we can see that we have this workflow that's already been backed up. So this is a super simple way to make sure that you never lose any of your workflows, uh, God forbid, and you can sleep safely at night. If you found this valuable, please give us a thumbs up and comment if there's anything else you'd like to see me do. I'm going to put the workflows down below completely for free. So feel free to click it, bring it over and just follow this step-by-step -step process so that you can have security with all of your AI agents and N8N workflows. Thank you so much. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.